Now we will prove that the summation over the whole values of x of the PMF of the negative binomial distribution is equals to 1. We can apply this combination formula here also. That means we can write this term as like this one. That is just the difference is here we have to write this term minus this. That is x plus r minus 1 minus r plus 1. On cutting we have to write here only x just because of this formula. So now firstly we will take this combination term and try to simplify this term. After that we will prove that this term is equals to 1. So let's start. Firstly we know that we can expand our combination and CR as like this one. Similar way we can expand this combination as like this one. That is at the place of n here we have x plus r minus 1. So that's why firstly here we write x plus r minus 1. Here we write n minus 1 that means here we have to write this term minus 1 minus minus become plus that is a minus 2 that is x plus r minus 2 so on up to like this term. Next here at the place of r we have x that means here at the place of r factorial we have to write x factorial. Now on cutting we can write here only r and we can completely see that if we go from this side to this side we are adding plus 1. See here if we plus 1 here minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. So here we have minus 1. So that means one term before r is r plus 1. Now we can write this term in a reverse order that is firstly we write this term that is r r plus 1 so on up to this. Now we will count these terms. So firstly we can see that leaving r here, here we have 1 that means this is first term so on up to leaving r here we have x minus 2 that is this is the x minus 2 term. Leaving R here we have x minus 1 that is this is the x minus 1 term that means from here to here we have x minus 1 terms but here we have one more term so x minus 1 plus 1 that means this whole terms are equal to x terms. So now we can write minus 1 raised to power x minus 1 raised to power x with this numerator. The answer will be same because minus 1 will become plus and 1 raised to power x will give us only 1. So now firstly we write this minus 1 raised to power x as like here as it is and then we multiply this minus 1 raised to power x which means x times minus 1 that means we have to multiply minus 1 with these x terms that means we will multiply minus 1 with each of these terms as like this. Now on comparing this whole term with this term we can clearly see that at the place of n here we have minus r at the place of n minus 1 we have minus r minus 1 that means n is equal to minus r and at the place of r here we have x that means r is equal to x that means on putting value of n is equal to minus r and value of r is equal to x we get this answer of this whole equation. So it is just value of this combination we substitute this whole value in this PMF of the negative binomial distribution as like this. We know that p raised to power r is independent of x. That's why we write this p raised to power r outside the summation. And we know since the powers are same, so we can multiply the bases. So we write here minus 1 plus p raised to power x. Now, moreover, we know the binomial theorem has expansion this. That means on comparing this term with this term we can see that at the place of n here we have minus r that is value of n is equal to minus r. At the place of k here we have x that means value of k is equal to x. At the place of x here we have minus 1 plus p that is value of x is equal to minus 1 plus p. That means simply on putting these values in this equation we get this as the answer of this whole term because of this binomial expansion. So now on cutting here we left with p raised to power minus r. On cutting again we get only 1 as our answer that is we have proved that the summation of the PMF of the negative binomial distribution is equals to 1.